Tucked in pockets in the industrial towns and rolling farmlands of northern Indiana are about 30,000 members of a religious and cultural group called the Amish. The Amish seek a quiet, plain life of family and faith, purposefully keeping themselves separate from mainstream pop culture. One clear way the Amish differ from mainstream culture is in their childbearing practices. Those practices are like the people, simple and natural, yet profoundly deep. Amish women typically use little or no medical intervention during pregnancy and childbirth. They usually fall among the 2% of childbearing women in the United States who have their babies naturally at home or in a birthing center. When I was practicing, um, we were doing quite a bit of home birth research. And if we look at the outcomes, they are as good in terms of morbidity and mortality as the lowest risk women who are going to the hospital and they are much better in terms of intervention like c-section rates I mean I just asked Mary informally I think today in the car what's your c-section rate and she said something like three percent now three percent is unheard of in the hospital Amish women usually birth at home or in low intervention birthing centers with the help of midwives in Topeka, Indiana, the 11-bed New Eden Care Center serves birthing Amish women from a wide swath of four counties. Our clientele is probably still right around 90% old order Amish. Seven independent midwives catch babies at New Eden. From their rugged four-wheel mobile offices, they drive the country back roads to meet Amish women in their homes offering prenatal and postpartum services. Typically we'll meet, and meet at the table sit down and just have some small talk, um, how they're feeling, how their last several weeks have been. Um, I take their blood pressure and then um, if we have blood work we'll do that and then we go into their bedroom and we uh, listen for the heartbeat. We get a lot of pregnant women through the door, a lot of bulging bellies, um, looking for their prenatals, their calcium, their uh, red raspberry, to ease the, uh, the pains of labor and to speed it up. Though they've heard about birthing from mothers, sisters, and friends, to young Amish women, childbearing is a bit of a mysterious, precious rite of passage all women undergo. They wonder if they'll be terribly undignified. By most standards, Amish births are typically very quiet. I had an Amish patient um, who you couldn't even tell she was in labor. I mean, she got a little bit red in the face, but that was about it. God created the female body to go through the birthing process. The female body, the female mind, the female heart was meant to go through a birth. And once she has that baby come tumbling out, she's holding it in her arms and the midwife is trying to dry it off and it starts crying and squ squalling a little bit, um, there's nothing like it. For the people that come to me out of the Amish community, are people that also believe that they were made to have babies. And you approach every birth as if it's normal. The Amish lifestyle is one surrounded by the ideal of the renunciation of anything selfish and a faith that God will give them the strength to endure hardship. To wallow in one's pain is, in many ways, a completely foreign indulgence to Amish women. They tend to rely more on their faith to get them through. Just trusting that God has a plan and that he will help you through that experience that if it's not a good outcome, that it's because God had another plan. There's not the same need for you, or, you know, testing to say if a baby's perfect or not. That isn't the question. They're not asking that question. There comes a time in most every woman's birthing experience when that woman must surrender to the process. The woman who recognizes her need to give in to the process often has a better time of it than those who cannot. Amish women seem to be able to surrender with more ease than women from other cultures. It's this surrendering that makes Amish women so easy to shepherd through childbirth. There's not as many layers to work through or the resistance, or it's a cultural expectation of them that of course they can give birth so everybody around them is also expecting the same. Their willpower to make it through, they just know they have to do it, that mm, right. this is their goal, there's no other option, and they're strong women and they do it. Working with the Amish affirms the overarching midwifery philosophy that pregnancy and childbirth are normal, natural processes. The female human body is neither to be feared nor neglected. Amish birth practices take us back to the basics, 
where surrender and acceptance prevail. I just believe it's a miracle how God has created the whole development of childbirth and how it happens and how strong women are to um, bring that life into the world. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. If they wait upon the Lord.